Hi, I'm Gardener Scott. I grow a lot of tomatoes, and I have for years. And for years, I've been searching for the best way to keep tomato plants off the ground. I think I've found it. Join me as I share with you what I think is the best tomato trellis. Tomatoes are the favorite plant of American gardeners. A lot of us grow them, a lot of us have success with them, but a lot of us don't really trellis them to get the best production. This trellis behind me is one that I think accomplishes that. You may have one of those flimsy tomato cages that they sell everywhere. I have many of them and they're mostly stacked in the back of my shed because as people that grow tomatoes know, tomatoes can get quite large and those flimsy cages really don't do any good to keep them under control. What you need is something sturdy, strong, and capable of growing the tomatoes to their full potential. The tomatoes I grow in my garden are typically six, eight feet tall and I need a trellis that can handle a tomato plant that is six to eight feet tall. I discovered cattle panels years ago. They're heavy gauge galvanized steel and they're used to keep livestock under control so they're pretty strong. What I've done is taken a cattle panel and turned it into a tomato trellis. Now there's a lot of other videos out there that use cattle panels in the garden, but typically they'll use them vertically, where they'll take this panel and they'll make a wall, and they might have a steel post or a wooden post at either end to hold the wall in place, essentially creating a semi-permanent trellis. The reason I think these are a more perfect tomato trellis is because they're movable, they're stackable. You can shift them from bed to bed, from year to year, but yet they retain that strength that is inherent in a cattle panel. These are heavy gauge, usually about eight gauge steel, galvanized, about 50 inches wide and about 16 feet long. They're difficult to cut. I like to use bolt cutters to make it a little bit faster. You decide on the size of your talus, and then you take the bolt cutters to put it to size. I begin by using the bolt cutters to cut off the end four rows. That's about two and a half feet, which makes the remaining cattle panel just under 14 feet. By cutting off the end piece, what's remaining are tips that actually work very well as anchors when I put the trellis in the garden bed. On the other end, I still have a flat bar, so to get the same anchoring ability, I want to cut off this end piece by cutting through each of the vertical steel pieces. Now I have a 50 inch wide trellis 
with anchor points on each end. And all I need to do now is just to bend it into shape. This really is heavy duty metal. So you will have to put your whole body behind the bending of the cattle panel. I do it myself. I would recommend that two or three of you get together to make these panels. That might give you a little bit more control and it might actually be a little bit safer so you don't accidentally poke yourself with those sharp tips. I begin by selecting a point halfway from end to end, which corresponds to 10 rows on either side. At that middle point, I'll use my feet to begin the bend, get the panel bending in the direction I want, then I'll step around and continue putting pressure not to bend it into a point but into a slight curve. At this point the trellis becomes very manageable. I can lift it carry it with ease in between the beds to the bed that I want to place it. Once the trellis is in the bed, now comes time to anchor. These points will go all the way into the ground up to that first crossbar. So I just pull it towards me and it actually just slides very easily and now this side is anchored. I'll go to the other side, repeat that process, just pulling it vertically towards the wall of the bed and then sink it down. And now this trellis is in place, very sturdy and able to handle the weight of whatever I put underneath it. I think being able to move the cattle panels is a very important aspect to this particular design that I developed. I practice plant rotation. This year this bed has tomatoes and I've got my trellis over these tomatoes. Next year it's going to be a different crop. Even in my home garden I practice rotation. So the ability to move these panels from bed to bed from year to year is really a big advantage. A single trellis, 50 inches wide, is good for about two rows of four tomato plants, allowing for the tomatoes to grow along these vertical nylon strings. And that gives space on the end of the bed to grow an additional plant, in this case basil and a nasturtium to help deal with some of the pests that might impact the tomato plants. I also like to use a double trellis system. With these trellises I've trimmed off the lower two pieces of the panel giving me two panels each about three feet wide. So in this bed I can actually increase the number of plants because I've got two trellises. Another advantage to this type of system, even though I have them running parallel to the side of the bed, they could be turned perpendicular depending on what you want to grow with each of these trellises taking up about half of this eight-foot bed. Because they're only three feet wide, they can easily fit if they're turned 90 degrees. By the end of the season, your plants can completely fill this tomato trellis. And because of the dome design, all that weight is evenly distributed. They won't tip, they won't blow over, they're very stable. And the tomatoes that are growing vertically 
will start to peek out through the sides, which makes the harvest very easy. I've used my cattle panel tomato trellises for years, and I plan to use them for many more years. Once you build one, they're virtually indestructible and will last for about as long as you continue to garden. That's one reason why I think they're so wonderful. There you have it. What I think is the best tomato trellis. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know below. If you haven't subscribed to the Gardener Scott channel, please feel free to do so. If you like the video, you can give me a thumbs up and share. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening.